Good morning and welcome back. It must be Tuesday. So glad you could join us and so glad we're still here. Uh, the big announcement, of course, is that it's a live auction in Branson, Missouri at the Branson Convention Center, October 16th and 17th. There will be some social distancing. You may or may not have to wear face masks. Actually, they're recommended anyway. Uh, we may have some different situations in terms of the audience and so forth, but we'll make all of those announce bef announcements before the actual auction happens. Uh, the big news is there's a record number of rooms reserved at the Hilton. If you don't have yours, get them now. Call the Hilton. and uh, it's, uh, it's on our website, BransonAuction.com. But you want to call and get your room reservations in for Branson for October 16th and 17th. Of course, there will be a reception Thursday evening uh, for the buyers and the sellers, consigners and, the, and, and bidders. So you want to attend that too. Uh, we're going to have a fun time. It's a lot of pent-up desire to get out and enjoy life a little bit, and I sure understand that. So, anyway, today, well, we're kind of going to talk about Volkswagen, kind of. Do you know all of the brands that Volkswagen owns? Seriously? Okay, you probably know that Volkswagen owns Audi. You've probably never heard of Seat, let alone the Czechoslovakian Skoda. You might have heard of Bugatti. I know you've heard of Lamborghini. And of course, everybody knows Porsche. Ducati mo motorcycles, yeah. And Volkswagen, of course. Volkswagen also owns Bentley. And we're gonna talk about Bentley. W.O. Bentley, he's, he's one of my heroes. Uh, he started the company, I, I believe, in 1919. And uh, he didn't sell it until, I think, 1931. He's <laughs> it was put up for sale, and he didn't know who was buying it. It was Rolls-Royce, but he never knew. They had some euphemism of a name that submitted the bid, and it was the winning bid. And Rolls-Royce, in 1931, became the owner of Bentley. Now, in 1998 is when Volkswagen took ownership of Bentley. 1998. They've been making them a long, long time. Back when W.O. owned the company, he was into racing. He was really into performance. And he won Le Mans in 1921, 24, 27, 28, 29. In 1929, he came in first, second, third, and fourth. Won again and took first and second in 1930. Wow. Oh, in 1922, Bentley raced at the Indy 500. He only came in 13th, but he raced at the Indy 500 in, in 1913, or 1922. Wow. So there's a lot of history behind Bentley. Oh, today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Bentleys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2016 Continental GT Speed. Continental, it's a two-door. This is a fantastic automobile. It's a W12, not a V12, it's a W12. They took two Volkswagen V6s and put them together, basically. That's that's the simplification, but that's kind of what they did. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle. This great big heavy 4,000 pound car is all-wheel drive. It has a uh, eight-speed transmission, paddle shifters. It'll go from zero to 60 in four seconds. Its top speed is 203. Oh, here's one for you. And, uh, in Finland or Norway or somewhere up there north, they have an ice test. And the Bentley ran 205 miles an hour on the ice. That's a world speed record for being on ice. But this is a car that legitimately was 636, 626 horsepower uh, is for the street and it can go well over 200 miles an hour on the street. 
please don't do that. Uh, I know six people in this country that, that can drive that fast on the street and come out alive, and I don't think you're one of them, and neither am I. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful car. Handles like a dream. They're still made in crew in England. It's, it's a British car made in crew England. It's just owned by Volkswagen, that's all. What a marvelous car. This one is in red with a very, very deep, dark blue interior. It, it's inadequate to say it has all the bells and whistles, but it does. And, and then it's got some horns and some violins and a couple of cellos. And this car has absolutely everything. It's, it's a pure, glorious drive. I, I truly enjoy it. Now, the early Continental, which I lusted after forever, I couldn't sit up straight in. This one I can. Uh, they're just, they're beautiful cars. This one's for sale in the auction, October 16th and 17th. It's gonna be up on the block. You know what, I, you need to understand this. The owner of this car, he's, he's a car guy. He also owns a Model A. <laughs> so it's not just, you know, extravagant wealth. It, well, maybe it's that too. But he, he also owns a Model A. He drives a different Bentley. That's why he's selling this one. He drives a Bentayga. Do you know that Bentley Bentayga, they have a fly fishing edition that I absolutely lust after. But I think my Jeep wagon would go into withdrawals if I ever got near one. Anyway, if you're interested, come join us October 16th and 17th at the Branson Convention Center for the 43rd edition of the Branson Collector Car Auction. Kathy and I are really looking forward to it. We've missed all of you for a long time, and we want to see you again real soon.